Hey YouTube, it's HammerBros94 here with a DVD update um, for the beginning of April. I haven't gotten a lot, but I'm, like I said, I'm trying to save up for the big Criterion update, uh, Criterion 50% uh, off sale, so. But I am going to show some stuff that I've gotten recently. I got a few Bond movies here. I'm going to start with uh, Timothy Dalton in License to Kill. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best. Uh, 80s Bond movies, and like I said, it stars Timothy Dalton, and um, it's about um, he goes after these drug dealers that killed his be uh, help almost killed his best friend. It's a pretty good movie. Not a lot of pomp to it, obviously. It's a little booklet there, but yeah, I don't know if I told you this, but I'm a huge James Bond fan. And this is one of my favorites, really. I got this for three bucks at a uh, video trader. It's a local El Cheapo trading store. Another Bond movie, uh, The World Is Not Enough. My second favorite Pierce Brosnan movie. Pierce Brosnan uh, um, Bond movie besides GoldenEye, which I've yet to find for a low price. This is a really good price, at FYE. And, uh, for those of you who don't know what this is about, it's about a uh, a uh, guy who wants to destroy the world and doesn't care. It's kind of it's got the, it's got a really stupid actress in it. Her name's um, Denise Richards. She's just awful in this movie, but Chris Brosnan and uh, I think the guy who plays Q. This was his last movie. Desmond. Yelfus or whatever his name was. Anyway, um, this is this is one of my favorite um, Brosnan Bonds. So that's the world is not enough. And this one I got today at a very good price. It was in, I was ecstatic just to get it. I already had the two disc edition, but I decided to upgrade, and that's the uh, three disc collector's edition of Casino Royale. And this is actually my favorite Bond movie ever. This was, in my opinion, the best. And it comes with a bunch of bonus features on the third disc that didn't come in the regular edition. There's disc one, the movie. Eva Green. There's the disc two. And disc three, with Le Chief. And it comes with a collectible booklet here. It comes with a few essays and pictures and stuff like that. It's a very nice, very, very nice set. I haven't gotten a chance to look at the bonus features, but they do come with rare deleted scenes, so I'm very excited to look look that one up. I got it for ten bucks at Toys R Us, which I thought was a steal. But anyway, so there's that. Next one I got at Fye used. They had a buy one get one half off. I got this with Benjamin Button. Uh, Ghostbusters one and two. I really like Ghostbusters. They're, they're those movies are really good, and um, the first one was always better. Here's a collectible booklet, pictures, drawings, and stuff like that. And here's the first one, Ghostbusters 1. And I know Cinemani Cinemaniac77 is a huge Ghostbusters fan, so I'll put a, a link in the description to his page. And uh, here's the movie, the, the first one. And the second one. The first one was obviously better, but still, I love Ghostbusters. Those movies are so good. And the next one, I've been looking for forever and couldn't find it anywhere. And I actually found it at a um, DVD store that I'd never been to before. It was three bucks. And it's uh, Robert De Niro and Jerry Lewis in The King of Comedy. I've seen like the first five minutes of it, and I thought it was so good, but I never got to finish it. So now that I have it on DVD, I can watch it whenever I want. Here's the back. And here's the inside chapters. And there's the disc. I really can't wait to check this out, because it looked like a really... It looked like... It was a... It, the part that I saw, it was a really good movie. And I can't wait to finish it. So there's that. 
Next one I have is George Clooney in Leatherheads. Funny, funny uh, football movie. It's quite, it's really is really funny. I would really recommend you try to look this up at least. I got it at a cheap price, so. And it's about a um, football team in the 1930s, I think. And it has John Krasinski in it from The Office. And, um, they're, I think they're competing over, over a girl, George Clooney and John Krasinski. But, um, it's a very funny movie. I would really recommend you pick this one up if you can find it anywhere. Next one I'd seen before. It's a very good movie. Uh, Russell Crowe and Ben Affleck in State of Play. It's a nice mystery suspense. It's about a writer who, um, investigates a murder and comes up with some pretty nasty political political agendas and stuff. Anyway. Oh, crud, I got the French version. Ugh. French. Uh, that guy, I swear. Oh, well. Um, anyway, State of Play is a very good movie. Um, nice suspense and a twist and stuff. So there's that. The next one was, um, oh, who is it? Matthew McConaughey? Yeah, Matthew McConaughey, Bill Paxton, John Bon Jovi, Harvey Keitel, and U571. This is one of my girlfriend's favorite movies, so I decided to pick it up and try to watch it, see how it is. I don't know if it's any good or not, so I'll have to try it out. There's the movie. It's extremely, extremely stretched up. But, um, I've heard it's a good... <coughs> Excuse me. I heard it's a very good movie. So I'll have to look up, uh, watch it sometime. And the last one I got at that, um, the, uh, pawn shop that I was at. And it's, um, Mel Brooks' Young Frankenstein. Funny, funny Mel Brooks movie. I would really recommend it. It's all in black and white. It's a spoof of old horror movies. And it's got, uh... Gene Wilder and Peter Boyle, Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman is so funny in this. But, um, what it is, is it's Dr. Frankenstein's, um, grandson. And he comes in and takes the doctor's place. And it's very, very funny. Gene Wilder has, does an excellent job at playing the grandson. So, yeah, that's all I have for right now. Um... So, um, rate, rate, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.